Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, we are looking at example problems for the DTFT, the discrete time Fourier transform. Let us continue our discussion. All right. So, we are looking at example Uh, let us start with problem number 13, if I remember correctly. And uh, in this problem, let us look at the following LTI system, discrete time LTI system described by the differential equation yn that is output equals minus k equals 1 to n a k y minus k and uh, plus summation k equal to 0 to m b k x n minus k. Now, if you look at this what we have over here will be now this is the difference equation for an LTI system. Okay? Now, if this is LTI system, which is a low pass filter, okay. Okay, this is a low pass filter. Now, what is the corresponding differential equation or the difference equation for the for a high pass? what is the corresponding uh, difference equation for a high pass filter that is derived from this low pass filter. Okay. And we can start as follows, now taking the Z transform or taking the DTFT which is very convenient now as you have seen in all the applications and example problems we have talked so far, the DTFT is a very powerful tool for signal processing, discrete time signal processing. All right, or discrete signal, you can also call it as digital signal processing. So, we have y omega equals plus k equal to 1 to n a k a dtft of y uh, n minus k is e raise to g k omega into y omega equals summation k equals 1 to m correct b k e raise to j k omega uh, I am sorry e raise to minus j k minus j k omega x of n minus k okay. and uh, this would be now if you find h of omega now h of omega equals y of omega. So, this is the transfer function remember h of omega which relates the input and output the frequency domain. So, h of omega equals uh, well this is summation k equal to 0 uh, to m b k e raise to minus j k omega over 1 plus summation k equal to 0 to n a k e raise to minus j k omega. Okay. And now to get, so this is the transfer function h of omega okay. and now to get the corresponding transfer function for 
but now this is a low pass filter remember correct. So, get the uh, to get the corresponding transfer function of the equivalent high pass filter I have to shift it to shift it by pi alright. So, omega so h of omega becomes h of omega by uh, h of omega minus pi alright. So, we have to replace omega by omega minus pi okay. and that is what we have seen in the previous example to get h p f and this is a neat trick we have to shift by pi implies omega becomes omega minus pi that is we replace omega by omega minus pi and therefore h tilde of omega of this high pass filter is summation k equal to 0 to m or in fact k equal to 1 to m let me just correct it k equal to this is k equal to sorry this is both these are both uh, k equal to these are both k equal to 1 k equal to 1 correct not k equal to 0 rather k equal to 1 to m b k e is to j k omega minus pi divided by 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to n a k e raise to j uh, e raise to minus j k omega minus pi which now you can simplify as summation k equals 1 to m b k this will be e raise to j k pi or basically you can write this as e raise to j pi uh, whole raise to k times e raise to minus j k omega. So, that remains as it is over 1 plus summation k equals 1 to n a k e raise to j pi k e raise to minus j k omega. And now, you can see e raise to j pi raise to k is nothing but minus 1 over k. So, h tilde omega the transfer function which is the transfer function of the equivalent high pass filter is y omega by x omega that is summation k equals 1 to m minus 1 raise to k a k e raise to minus j k omega by 1 plus summation k equals 1 to n minus 1 raise to k b raise to k e raise to minus j omega uh, e raise to minus j k omega and therefore, this implies that if you look at this we have y of omega into 1 plus into 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to n minus 1 to the power k b k e raise to minus j k omega equals x k summation k equals 1 to m minus 1 to the k minus 1 raise to k a k e raise to minus j k omega and this implies now taking the inverse d t f t. So, now you take the inverse d t f t and this gives rise to the difference equation you can see y n equals minus summation k equals 1 to n minus 1 to the k y n minus k plus summation k equals 1 to m minus 1 k a k x n minus k. Okay. So, this is the difference equation of the okay, this is the difference equation of the 
equivalent high pass filter that is derived from the difference equation and the transfer function for that matter of the given low pass filter. All right, where we use the trick that to get a high pass filter from a low pass filter you have to shift it by pi or replace omega by omega minus pi in the transfer function. Okay. All right, let us proceed to the next problem, problem number 14 which is the following thing. So, we consider the impulse response H n such that H n equals real, H n is non zero only for 0 less than or equal to n minus 1 which means H n equal to 0 for n uh, less than 0 or n greater than equal to n. So, this implies this is non-zero only for 0 less than equal to n less than or equal to n minus 1. Okay. And importantly, H n has the property H n equals H of n minus 1 minus n, where n, okay. so H n equals n minus 1 minus n. So, this has a symmetry you can see, if you can see it will be something like Okay. okay, so this is your 0, 1, 2, 3, it is 0, so capital N equals 4, okay. so N equals 4 and uh, or and uh, so N minus 1 equals 3, so we have H of 0 equals h of 3 minus 0 equals h of 3 further h of 1 equals h of 3 minus 1 equals h of 2. So, this has symmetry, okay. you can clearly see this has a and here n equal n is even. Okay. Okay, so, this has symmetry about this point. So, this is your you can think of this as your axis of, so you can think of this as uh, basically uh, your axis of symmetry. Okay? So, this is basically uh, you can think of this as a uh, as an axis of uh, you can think of this as a symmetry an axis a symmetric axis of symmetry okay and therefore this impulse response of this filter is symmetric all right satisfies the property h small n equals h capital n minus 1 minus small n okay so now what we want to do is we want to find the phase response find phase response of uh, this quantity theta omega. Now, you look at this property, now phase response, so we want to answer the question what is the phase response. Now, observe that this property H of n equals H of capital N minus 1 minus n from this property what you can see is if you flip it all right if you basically flip it about 0 this filter about by 0 and if you delay it by n minus 1 all right in the previous case for instance if you consider the mirror image about 0 and delay it by n minus 1 then you get again the same filter okay so flip by 0 so you observe plus delay by n minus 1 equals 
same filter okay and this is the interesting property so if you flip it over the zero axis that is first you take h tilde n equals h of minus n that implies h tilde taking the dt f t we have h tilde remember look at the time reversal so we are considering the time reversal basically time reversal and delay by n minus 1 so h tilde omega equals h of minus omega this is from the time reversal property okay this is from the time reversal property h tilde omega equals h of minus 1 now delay by n minus 1 so we have h double tilde n which is h tilde of n minus n minus 1 which is basically equals you can see h of n minus 1 minus n which is equal to now h of n by the property of the filter okay and from this you can see uh, you have h double tilde of omega equals h tilde of omega since you are delaying by n minus 1 this becomes h tilde of omega e raised to minus j n minus 1 times omega okay which is equal to now h tilde of omega you can clearly see this is h of minus omega into e raised to minus j n minus 1 omega this is from the time reversal property now h of minus omega is also equal to h conjugate of omega okay so h conjugate of omega times e raised to minus j n minus 1 omega and this follows because h of n is a real filter all right so the coefficients of h of n are real and for any real impulse response or for any real signal we know that h of omega equals h conjugate of that is h of minus omega is basically the same as h conjugate of omega okay so basically i can also write this as mod h magnitude h of omega into the negative of the phase of h of omega e raised to minus j theta omega e raised to minus j n minus 1 omega but this is equal to h of omega from the property of the filter okay from property because h tilde of omega because h of n minus capital n minus n capital n minus 1 minus small n equals h of small n so we have h double tilde omega equals h of omega this is from property of from symmetry of filter which is equal to magnitude h of omega e raised to j theta omega and therefore now equating the phase of these two terms equating the phase if you call this as term 1 and if you call this as term 2 equating phase of both equating phases we have minus theta omega minus n minus 1 omega equals theta omega implies twice theta omega equals n minus omega. So, this is a neat trick which implies the phase has to satisfy phase of h of omega has to satisfy theta omega equals half or this is basically in fact twice theta omega is minus n minus 1 omega. So, this is minus half n minus 1 omega okay this basically satisfies so this is a linear phase constraint okay so this is a linear phase okay phase is linear with omega so this has the interesting property that by this symmetry all right so the property the symmetric property of this real filter result, results in a linear phase in fact that is something that is very interesting so uh, the symmetry property endows it with a linear phase okay all right
let us proceed to the next problem which is also again very interesting and it talks about the sampling of it talks about this is problem number 15 I think this talks about the sampling of uh, a discrete times or a continuous time system so sampling from continuous time system we have the discrete time system okay so we have an rc circuit resistance r capacitance c output across the capacitor c input across the rc serial combination so we have the input voltage xt output voltage yt and we have seen this several times before and uh, in rc circuit above consider rc equals 2 what is the discrete time filter obtained by sampling obtained by sampling impulse response the above continuous time impulse response with sampling duration with sampling interval So, what so this is an interesting problem first you can try to spend some time appreciating it. So, we have this continuous time system all right it is a serial RC filter all right which has an impulse response. Now, we want to sample this continuous time impulse response and derive a discrete time impulse response. So, so that gives us a discrete time LTI system with a discrete time impulse response. We want to find what is uh, either the difference equation or the transfer function that describes the equivalent discrete time LTI system. Okay. So, basically what is the discrete time filter or you can say in terms of either the impulse response or the transfer function and this can be found as follows. Now, we know the difference equation is given as and we have seen this several times before y t is the voltage across the capacitor plus from Ohm's law r into i that is C d v by d t or C d y t by d t that is the potential drop across the resistance and this has to be equal to the input voltage that is x t which implies that y of uh, which implies that now taking the s transform y of s plus R c and R c we know equals 2. So, y of s plus 2. So, given R c equal to 2. Okay. So, given this R c equal to 2 that is given. Okay. So, 2 into d y pi d t has Laplace transform s y s equals x. So, we are basically taking Laplace transform. So, this implies 1 plus 2 s into y s equals x s. This implies y s divided by x s equals 1 over 1 plus 2 s. Now, this is 1 over 1 plus 2 s. This is your h of s that implies taking inverse Laplace transform we have h t equals half e raised to minus t by 2 u t. Okay. So, this is basically taking the inverse Laplace transform. Taking the inverse Laplace transform okay. and remember h n is obtained by sampling this h n equal sample uh, 
okay with sampling duration ts when you sample it you have you obtain the discrete time impulse response hn so hn now if you look at this it is very simple hn equals h of the continuous time so let us do a so let us call this h tilde n h tilde n equals h of to distinguish them this is h of nts where h is the continuous time which implies now h tilde n equals half e raised to minus n t s by 2 u n. In fact, that is what u of n t s, but u of n t s remember this is e raised to half e raised to minus t by 2 u t. So, this will become u of n t s, but u of n t s is the same as u of n. So, this will be half e raised to minus n t s over 2 u of n because t s is greater than 0. This is equal to half e raised to minus t s over 2 raised to the n u n h tilde. So, this is the impulse response of the equivalent discrete time system. This is the impulse response of the equivalent DT system. Okay. Now, taking the Z transform yields H of Z that is a transfer function H tilde n is half. Now, this is you can treat this as half A raise to the n u n where A is E raise to minus T s by 2. So, H tilde Z will be half 1 minus e raise to 1 minus a, a z inverse. So, 1 minus e raise to minus t s over 2 z inverse and this is equal to and uh, this is basically the transfer function of the equivalent d t system discrete time system. This is the transfer function of the equivalent discrete time system. Now, one can uh, derive the discrete time Fourier transform the DTFT by replacing z by e raise to j omega. We know that. So, h tilde of omega now one over one minus e raise to minus t s over two e raise to minus j omega, or one over one minus a e raise to minus j omega, where we have already seen a is e raise to minus t s over two. Okay. And now, we can also find the difference equation as follows. So, we have y omega over x omega equals 1 over 1 minus e raise to t s over 2 e raise to minus j omega, which means y omega into 1 minus e raise to minus t s over 2. 2 e raise to minus g omega is equal to x of omega, which implies that difference equation is now given as y of n minus e raise to t s over 2 y n minus 1 equals x of n. This is the equivalent discrete time system. Okay. Or in fact, d e of the equivalent discrete time, there is a difference equation of the equivalent discrete time system. All right. So, we have found uh, the impulse response transfer function as well as the difference equation that describes the equivalent discrete time system obtained by sampling the impulse response of the continuous time LTI system. All right. So, let us stop here and we will continue with other problems in the future modules. Thank you very much.